On the program today, we salute the works done by a multi-talented female artist at the art house space. And then at another end of Lagos, an artist is remembering some people who have left their footprints in the sands of time. We'll show you how these artists interpret their works via different media. Great to have you on Art House. I'm Melinda Akinami. Let's quickly take our IT quotes this week and we'll be right back. Literature is in many ways like faith. It's a leap of imagination. I write because I want to write. I write because I have a story to tell. There is this urge always to write and put things down. Pedro Alatiche is a woman of many parts an author, architect, and an artist. Her latest exhibition was a jaw-dropping experience, especially for most of the people who came to see her works of art at the Art House Contemporary in Lagos. There's never anything straightforward about Pedro Alatiche's art, so when the audience hears paradox, paradigms, and parasites, then beholds these installations, they know you have to put your thinking caps on to connect the dots, else it will remain a mystery or keep you puzzled. Every inch of the art house space is occupied. Living room for the audience to take in the works and space is what every gallery owner has to consider before letting her pieces come in. Well, I think in the arts we're very privileged. There are a lot of women and we want to represent women. This is a lot about the Chibok girls who were kidnapped. If you look around, there's a lot of reference to women and how women need to be respected and represented in this country. And I think the female artists are doing an incredible job here as we, as gallerists, are trying to do and promote female artists. Pedro is a very exciting artist, probably one of the most important artists that have come out of Africa in the last perhaps 50 years. Her work is very original, very creative and very futuristic. I think she's got loads of talent and the messages she conveys in the arts are really very deep. It's amazing and any time she does an exhibition, there is no repetition of the past. It's always something new. When I see Nuepin in her studio, I said, Pedro, how do you come about this? I said, Mommy, I hope you can open my head and see what is inside. I said, unfortunately, if I do, I will only see your brain. I will not be able to translate. She's a very gifted child, and I feel very blessed and thankful to God for a special child. at a very young age she likes to draw and when it was time for her to go to university she said she wanted to do fine arts and it's like uh, I'm sorry I know you like drawing 
but not fine arts. You can go and do architecture. Architecture too is very close to fine arts. And she did architecture. She graduated and dropped the architect uh, degree and went back to her passion. And it's been a very beautiful ride. And when they do, it teleports the audience to a different world. Bajor's world where you become an active participant because your senses are charged with the hard pieces before you. We do a lot of his work uh, very deep and has strong element of uh, spirituality and also talk about different issues that affect girls and women in the society. Um, issues like um, when girls are deprived of education, w women being a uh, victim of violence in, um, on a different levels. And in a way I see Pedro Alatiche as a storyteller using uh, visual expression, either paintings, sculpture or installation works. Our works are very inspiring and also thought-provoking too.